begin this afternoon with the migrant crisis in New York City hitting a new boiling point. For days now, we've seen many forced to sleep on the sidewalk outside the intake center at the Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown. And good afternoon to you on Liz Cho. I'm Sandra Bookman in today for David Navarro. Adding to the desperation, many migrants say they don't have water or access to restrooms. And the mayor is now warning that scenes like this could become more common with the city struggling to find space for them. 93,000 migrants have come to New York City since last spring. The Roosevelt Hotel is a dual, has a dual purpose. It's an arrival center for migrants where they can gain access to vaccinations, food, and other resources. But it is also a humanitarian relief center that houses families with children. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon live this afternoon in Midtown with more. Sonia. Liz and Sandra, the evidence of the shelter shortage, you can see it with the lines that are growing each day of mostly men waiting hours and sometimes days just to register at the intake center here at the Roosevelt Hotel. Now, the city has a legal obligation to provide shelter to anyone who requests it, but the Legal Aid Society says it is considering filing litigation to enforce the law since it would appear that the city is failing to meet that obligation if people are sleeping in the streets overnight. The mayor says the city is currently caring for 50,000 asylum seekers, but as you mentioned, 93,000 have arrived since last year and hundreds more continue to arrive by the day. We need help and it's, it's not going to get any better. Mayor Adams says the strain on the city is only going to get worse. The lines outside the Roosevelt, which were blocks long on Saturday and the heat and rain are shorter today, but there are still dozens of men waiting more than 24 hours who slept out here last night in the morning, washing up on the street for another day of waiting to be processed at the intake center here and taken to a men's shelter since only families with children can stay at hotels. Across the street, the owner of Amos Restaurant says the sight of the men lining up for the last couple of weeks and charging their phones in his outdoor dining space has hurt business, but that it wasn't an issue at all when it was just families staying inside the hotel. We were all happy about it. And actually, we were offering uh, jobs to some people that they were uh, asking for work. Um, but this is a massive uh, distraction. We are having a like human crisis here in the city, and no one stopping and even trying to offer people food or or anything. Like I can't imagine how terrified they must be. Staff members at the center in the hotel, run by health and hospitals, are distributing some food and water. But this asylum seeker from Senegal told us through a translator, the days long wait has been tough, mostly because of the uncertainty. They don't allow them to go anywhere. No shower, no bathroom. Yo tengo ya tres meses y medio viajando. This man from Venezuela says he's been traveling for three and a half months. He doesn't mind waiting a little longer. The men receive what look like raffle tickets to mark their spot in line. This man says he just feels privileged to be in New York City and wants to get on his feet. But that means being able to work legally, something Mayor Adams continues to push the federal government to expedite. There's nothing more anti-American than you can't work. The mayor says he's had some productive conversations with the city's congressional delegation and with Homeland Security, but that the federal help so far has not been adequate and that the federal government needs to treat this as the national crisis that it is and declare a state of emergency.